Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Let's now proceed to solve a waste estimation subroutine uh, where we'll take up again an example problem with some data like uh, we'll not get into that how you are going to get the historical data here but we'll consider that as an input for this example and then we'll try to develop a subroutine which helps us to figure out what should be the weight of the UAV without not exactly going into the aerodynamic details of the configuration. So once you have the weight of the UAV then you can think of designing a wing and selecting an aerofoil. So, that follows this weight estimation. So, to start with we need to know how to estimate the weight. So, this weight estimation actually requires power requirement like as an input. So, what should be the power typical power requirement by the system which we have already solved for cruise, takeoff as well as uh, climb performance right. So, that was the reason why we have initially uh, handled those two uh, those three examples or developed those three subroutines. So, let us now proceed to solve this uh, weight estimation problem. So, so, the example here is so estimate the weight of a UAV at the weight of a UAV which has to carry out, carry out the surveillance mission. for 2 hours carrying orbited with a EVO IR payload that weighs about 1 kg. So, at a cruise velo at a velocity at a flight velocity of 30 meters per second, the UAV is powered with an electric brushless motor. and propeller combination with a propulsive efficiency point nine two right comma motor efficiency 0.95. Well, let's change this 0.92 of propeller, proper, 0.95 of propeller efficiency and motor efficiency of 0.9 and electrical efficiency of 0.98. Right? Assume the lift to drag ratio. during the flight is 15. Right. So, consider the following data. Following data of a baseline UAV to estimate estimate the weight of the uh, current okay. So, 
So, given propulsive efficiency, so what we have is structural weight ratio, right. So, this is W. W structure upon total weight of the aircraft is given as 0.4 from the baseline aircraft. So, propulsive W of propulsion unit or brushless motor upon weight of the total weight of the UAV was given as 0.15 and yeah. electrical efficiency is 0.98 and motor efficiency 0.9 and then propeller efficiency or propulsive efficiency is 0 0.95. Okay. So, what exactly is it mean and again let us put down all the data that was given. So, we need to carry out emission requirement right. So, from the question we need to estimate the weight of a UAV which has to carry out a mission of a surveillance mission for 2 hours. That means, it has to the time of flight has to be minimum of 2 hours. Let us assume, let us now estimate the weight of the UAV only for this 2 hours plus okay, for take off and then returning to the base. So, that we are not accounting here. What we will do is what should be the minimum weight of the UAV in order to carry out this 2 hours mission, 2 hours surveillance mission. So, the time required is 2 hours here. Okay. And also the SED specific energy density that we have to consider for a battery is 100 watts uh, watt hour per kg. Okay. So, this is the specific energy density that is considered. So, the time of flight is 2 hours and the velocity of flight should be 30 meters per second and L by D during flight is given as 15. So, instead of just fixing this 15 again, let us try to iterate this from say from 10 with a step of 1 up to 15. Okay. So, this is what we are going to do or say 17 as well that is up to you. So, we can iterate this, we can make this as a variable as well as. So, this is from the mission requirement. So, we cannot change this much. So, 2 hours of flight is also a mission requirement here and the another data that we have from here is payload weight. right? So so, W payload payload is given directly, right? So it is given as one kg, right? So this is what the data we have from the given question. Now let us look at the typical architecture of this uh, brushless motor propulsion. So what we have is similar to that of IC engine. We have shaft power as an output from a brushless motor, right? Let us assume this is my brushless motor. Okay. So, the output from this brushless motor is shaft power P s, right. When I connect this, uh, when I connect a propeller to the shaft, so what I can, what I achieve is power available or the useful power for the UAV to, uh, to make it, uh, to help it, uh, to help the, like this power available will help the UAV to move forward, right. Okay. Let us see what exactly the shaft is connected to. So, this shaft inside is connected to a armature right, which is positioned in between permanent magnets. Right? You can say multiple permanent magnets in most of the cases. So, say there will be a bearing here through which the shaft will be out right and then the end of the shaft again is connected to so to the other like opposite end of this motor so say this is uh, say this is uh, our this is another bearing through which this shaft is mounted so it is like a simply supported se setup here it is grounded at two, two ends, two ends of it and then this armature rotates inside 
this particular motor which is uh, having uh, what do you call coaxial uh, permanent magnets right so now so the the reason for me to consider this is like the input for this motor is electric electricity am i correct or not p electric right so the input for the motor is p electric and the output from this motor is shaft power so the electrical efficiency or say the motor efficiency motor efficiency here mot is equals to so output from this motor is ps upon p electrical right so this is the output from this motor and then this motor again is connected to is connected to a speed controller here what we call it as electrical uh, electric speed controller so this is esc okay and then it is again connected to finally to the power source right so the power source that we carry is a battery here lithium lipo battery okay so say this is your uh, lipo battery okay so and from here see so this is the power from the battery right so the power from the battery pb okay so the pb is a is the input for this electrical connections that includes uh, esc and the all other wiring here so when there is uh, a power supply through this electrical equipment there is resistance of course we can't avoid resistance so there is certain losses here right so that electrical efficiency is given as so the input for this electrical efficiency is power from the battery bat otherwise you can consider this power from the battery and the output is power electrical to the motor which is input to the motor here so p electric upon p battery is the electrical efficiency and it is given as 0.98 right and motor efficiency is given as 0.9 and we have like uh, the useful aerodynamic power here or the uh, the power that is useful for the uav to move forward is pa right so that's a output from the sh shaft power right so the where from the propeller so the propulsive efficiency is uh, the input output upon input so output is power available upon shaft power psh or ps okay so now if i have to talk about what is the overall Uh, power available if i have to relate this power available and power battery power what i need to do is so power at the battery that i require is equals to bat is equals to power electric upon propulsive efficiency right uh, eta eta electric so this is equals to so what is p electric again i can convert this p electric from here right It's ps upon p motor right so 1 upon eta electric 1 upon eta motor so times ps here so again i can convert this ps as pa upon 1 upon eta propulsion times pa power available so whatever the power available from the system should be equal to the power requirement at that particular flight velocity isn't it that is what this power available should do if i i should set the throttle of the motor in such a way that the combination of this motor with the propeller should deliver the required power by the system to perform that particular mission which is surveillance mission here right at a particular velocity and l by d so if this power so the power required for that particular flight flight condition when it is satisfied with this power available from the motor then it will be able to fly at that constant velocity of 30 meters per second okay so finally if i have to see understand what should be the weight of the battery 
I need to first understand what should what should be the power requirement of this entire system or the power that has to be supplied from the battery, right? So how long I should supply for this power? So it is mentioned, right? Two hours here. Let us say, okay. So this power from the battery, okay. So energy at the battery, otherwise, so we can't talk in terms of power there, right? So energy or E energy required at battery right is equals to power required or power at the battery power that need to be delivered by the battery times the total duration of flight or delta t okay so this is what will help us to know uh, what is the energy required by the battery now once you know what is energy required by the battery by using the definition of specific energy density right so what is specific energy density specific energy density is the amount of energy stored in a battery per kg right so that is watt hour per kg weight of the battery weight of battery why we are calculating this that is, that will be the only variable here isn't it i'll show you that so weight of the battery is specific energy required by the battery or energy required from the battery upon to carry out that particular mission upon specific energy density so if you have energy in watt hour then you you divide it by watt hour per kg what you have is a weight of the battery in kg okay so that is what wb this is equals to w battery so what is the total weight of the aircraft weight of the aircraft is this we have already derived no in our previous course please refer to that video the video link will be given below so please refer to that so the weight of the aircraft is structural weight plus propulsion weight pro weight of the propulsion system plus weight of the battery plus assuming uh, all other accessories weight of all other accessories that is uh, for a particular system is already included in this right so structure plus propulsion plus battery plus payload for a uav okay so payload weight is given directly in kg so we don't have uh, structural weight as such so what we need to do is this is given as the ratio w str right uh, w str upon w is given this structural weight ratio is given times the total weight plus propulsion propulsion weight upon total weight is a propulsion weight ratio times the total weight of the aircraft plus weight of the battery is not given which is unknown that we need to find out so it varies from mission to mission isn't it that is very clear here if it is delta t changes the battery weight changes here because battery weight again this battery weight is equals to p bat times power that is need to be delivered from the battery times delta t upon uh, scd specific energy density so this power at the battery depends upon this power available so it depends upon the flight conditions as well so from from one mission to the other mission the overall power requirement changes so if you are flying at different velocity this power available that the power that need to be made available from the power plant to the system changes right so at the same time when you are flying at a different l by d you have different power requirement altogether okay so the current approach that we are going to uh, adapt is not a generic approach so this is what i generally use and uh, and found to be very uh, useful in in designing a uav so uh, there can be many other approaches i am not uh, generalizing and sta or stating that this is the only approach that is available so the steps that we need to follow here is approach what we'll be doing so consider the weight and ratios of baseline uav okay now so what are we doing here so this battery weight so payload weight is fixed payload this is fixed so this is what is changing isn't it that the battery weight has to change and it depends upon the initial weight as well initial weight of the aircraft as well so with the initial weight 
for a different mission requirement. So, the initial weight was given from the baseline aircraft, right? is not it? Here, it is from the baseline aircraft. So, considering that weight and estimating it for a different altogether a different mission right, will also affect the initial weight itself at the end of this mission, because the battery weight may not be same as the battery weight of the previous UAV, which was considered as 4 kgs, right? that was the baseline UAV that we considered. That may not be the four, the, the battery weight that uh, this part, for this particular mission may not stay within that limit. So, in that 4 kg may be say about 1.5 kg is the battery weight for to carry out a mission that was like that UAV was designed for. But the current UAV has to perform a different mission altogether, which is a 2 hours uh, surveillance, right. So, for that case, that 1.5 kg of battery which you have considered earlier, for that case, the 1.5 kg battery that was assumed for the total weight of the aircraft which was about 4 kg may not be suitable for this particular mission requirement. That is the reason why we are trying to estimate with that initial weight, assuming that is the initial weight, what is the overall weight of the battery that we need to carry here. Now, with that battery, we will try to update this W. Right? So, that iteration continues until we achieve convergence between two consecutive iterations. Right? So, let us say, so i plus 1 minus w i, so the error between them if it is uh, less than 10 power say some value. So, then we will say that okay, wh what we have achieved is a kind of convergence. Right. So, bit the and the weight estimation is more or less a decent value, right? it gives us a decent value here. So, for that what we have to do is, so first one is consider the initial weights and then try to iterate, iterate, iterate for the convergence. Because the battery weight changes, that means the overall weight changes. So, with that overall weight, figure out what is the power requirement. So, what so initial guess weight, so or say initial historic from initial weight from historical database. So, this is from historical database. So, with this initial weight and for that particular mission requirement, right, for mission requirement. Okay. Estimate what should be the battery weight, right? Thereby estimate what should be the weight, weight of UAV. So let us say WN is the new weight of the UAV. WI is the initial weight that is considered. So if this initial new weight and the initial weight, if they are same, one and the same, that means whatever you guessed as the initial weight earlier or whatever you have considered the initial weight will also good is good enough to satisfy this particular mission requirement which means this new weight again is a structural weight right of the new uav times the uh, pro propulsive weight of the new uav and then the battery weight of the new uav plus the payload here okay so here these weight weights are updated based upon this new weight here. Okay. Got it? So, if this new weight and the previous weight, if they turn out to be same in the previous iteration, if they if they let us say if, if there is an error, then this iteration continues like the power requirement for this with the updated weight. So, the new the new weight will become the what you call input of this iteration. Let us say if I iterate in this with this within this loop then uh, the new weight will now become the initial weight and then we will try to estimate what is the power requirement with this new weight right? to carry out that particular mission thereby estimating the battery weight. And then from that battery weight again we will find out what is the total weight of the UAV. Right? So, within this loop we will not update the structural weight and propulsion weight. So, they are defined outside the loop itself. Okay? So, within the loop we are not doing that. So, once we achieve this then we will try to update those structural weight and propulsion weight and then again repeat because when you update them again the total weight changes and then repeat this exercise. So, that we are more or less close to this particular uh, weight estimation of a new a new a weight, right. Okay. So, it will be easy as we start writing the code. Okay. Let us start the new subroutine. So, as usual I am clearing the database. 
by clearing the memory and closing all the windows say if they if if they are open so yeah or say I would like to consider the velocity as input, no? velocity of flight as an input here. So, input enter the flight velocity. Okay. So, velocity in meters per second. So, at the same time I would, I would also like to have total time of flight as an input. to the total time of flight in hours. So, after considering these two as an input, so from the given data, so the baseline aircraft, so the weight of the baseline aircraft is also given here, so which was which I forgot to mention is given as 4 kg, okay. this was the weight of the baseline aircraft. So, this 4 kg includes everything that was the, an earlier aircraft we were asked to consider to start uh, like estimating the weight of the current UAV. This may not be for uh, 2 hours mission requirement like surveillance and L by D at 15 and then uh, velocity at 30 meters per second right. So, that may not be exactly same. So, but we will consider that uh, those details here. So, the, what, uh, whatever it was given is so, baseline aircraft weight is given as 4 kg ok. So, and structural weight ratio w w s t underscores w right that is a structural weight ratio which is given as 0 0.4 this is structural weight ratio which is w s t underscore w or say w struct structural upon total weight of the aircraft. Right? So, and then the propulsion weight ratio is given W underscore so P R O plus W pro underscore W is 0 0.15. This is struck propulsion weight ratio and then so the L by D of flight we are going to vary right. So, ok. So, for what are we doing? L underscore D, let us say that as L by D of flight is varying from say 10 with an increment of 1 till 15 or say 16 otherwise. Okay. So, you can control this with, uh, limits of this uh, for loop. Okay. So, while varying this what we need to do is, so for each and every time you need to start with 4, right? Uh, whether it is L by D 11 or L by D 12 or L by D 13 or L by D 15. So, the baseline detail aircraft details are same, one and the same, right? Isn't it? So, for that, what I will try to do here is the structural weight ratio before entering into the slope, uh, I would like to queue them as an input here. Okay. So, that is structural weight ratio W underscore S T R cap 
underscore str is a structural weight itself which is w str underscore w that is structural weight ratio times w here okay so this is in kg so we are dealing in kg right now so and then w underscore propulsion weight ratio p r o capital letters so this is weight of the propulsion system weight of the structural structure uh, structure weight of the uh, uav structural weight of the uav so the propulsion weight uh, is total weight is equals to pro propulsion weight ratio p r o r o underscore w times the total weight so this gives me what is the structural weight and the propulsion weight here so that is outside the iterations and then so i would like to use some variables for this iterate iteration again just to know as well as save the data so i is equals to 0 let us say i k is equals to 0 here so k is equals to k plus 1 here so this will talk about l by d so k corresponds to the variable of iterations in for l by d here so i just want to sa save this l by d or say let us say this variation is small ld here i am storing it as capital ld of k comma 1 it stores in a vector column vector is equals to l underscore d l by d or say capital l by d here capital l by d so now the initial weight of the uav i would like to uh, assign this wi the initial weight for this iterations as the weight of the baseline aircraft w okay so that is the weight of the uav and then uh, i would like to have another variable which is w so w okay which is zero i'm just assigning it just to start like uh, as i told you i want to compare this let us say w w is the final weight after the iteration each iteration so w i minus w w i would like to compare this should be uh, less than or uh, so otherwise say should be greater than 10 power minus 10 right if it is greater than 10 power minus 10 this loop runs okay so the error so so this loop will break as soon as uh, the error with the initial weight of the iteration and the final weight after after that iteration if it is if the error is less than 10 power minus 10 so it will break otherwise it will keep running okay so what i am trying to do here so wi is considered as w every time inside the even inside the iteration so wi is equals to w because i need to upgrade this wi right isn't it so the initial weight i am considering is a baseline aircraft weight but inside that loop every after each and every loop this wi has to be upgraded here so th this you will understand once we complete this program so yeah i is again so so w i is not related with this i no? don't just don't get confused with that so i am i plus 1 talks about the iterations progress here and then w i is w and what i have to calculate is power required right so that was the whole idea there so if you look at here i need to calculate the power required and i need to make sure that that is available power available here isn't it so apart from this there is there are uh, efficiency pro so the input data related to propulsion efficiency motor efficiency and electrical efficiency so efficiency underscore pro pr propulsion efficiency is equals to 
0 0.95. So, efficiency underscore battery is equals to propulsion efficiency underscore propulsion battery and then what you have electrical ELE electrical efficiency. Let us say this is also P R 1. So, electrical and uh, I am sorry, this should be motor efficiency, okay. MOT, motor efficiency, brushless motor efficiency, which is 0 0.9, and electrical efficiency is 0 0.98, right. Okay. Yeah. So, the whole idea is uh, since we have this as an input here, once I know what is the uh, power that I need to deliver from the battery for this particular mission requirement, and it is very clear that if I know that battery power required, I will know what is the battery weight. So, I can update this battery weight and get the new weight here, is not it? Okay, that is what I am trying to do here. So, because efficiencies are given as an input here, so uh, what I need to know is power available which should be power required to perform that particular mission. Okay. So, that is what I am trying to do, power uh, required by the system which is nothing but the power available in our case. So, so, power required each and every time is equals to uh, weight of the aircraft, right? Weight of the aircraft wi times. So, this is in kg, I am just converting it to uh, newtons. So, L upon what is the power required here? So, for a level flight condition. So, this is like a surveillance mission at a L by D constant L by D, right? So, that means more or less a level flight here. So, L is equals to W right, and T is equals to D are the governing equations. So, the power required for us from these two equations is like thrust required times velocity of flight, is not it? So, that is nothing but uh, yeah, drag times V infinity or say if you divide these two equations, if you divide, uh, so otherwise power required is thrust required times velocity of flight. So, divide these two equations, what you have is thrust required upon W, T by W is equals to D by L or say thrust required is W upon L by D. So, we are not exactly going into the details, aerodynamic details of this. Instead, we are considering this L by D is available. So, for if you want to have this much of weight for your UAV, then you need to make sure that you fly at that particular L by D. So, you have to design your wing to deliver that particular L by D. So, L by D from here will be used as an input for your wing design, right. So, L by D W times V infinity is from the mission requirements upon L by D is your power required here. So, I am not explicitly calculating uh, each and every uh, variable here like thrust required and then power required the way we performed earlier. Instead, I will just use this. So, this is like W times g which is uh, like in newtons weight in newtons and then uh, what i have is uh, velocity of flight which is input from here so that is v upon l by d right so l by d is what this is my l by d so, okay so now i got power required so can i calculate uh, what is the battery weight Am I correct or power required at the battery so, power required at the battery is 1 upon electrical, 1 upon motor efficiency, 1 upon propulsion efficiency times this power required here. So, let us say P bat, P, is, this is K, capital P underscore bat, battery, power that need to be delivered at the battery is equals to Okay. So, what is this? This is equals to power required 1 upon, so I can say 1 upon efficiency e f f efficiency of propeller multiplied by efficiency of motor 
multiplied by electrical efficiency. multiplied by so power required p r okay so you now got to know power at the battery power required at the battery so can i say what is battery weight w b w underscore battery weight uh, so w underscore battery right b a t capital b inside the iterations let us let, yeah w underscore battery is equals to power underscore battery times the time of flight right where is time of flight t t is the time of flight in hours right so divided by specific energy density so we need to give scd also as an input in whatever per kg so say control c scd specific energy density enter the total enter the specific energy of the battery in what hour per kg okay so now you got weight of the battery so with this weight so we it without actually uh, using this no we considered them you know, the structural weight and propulsion weight as a constant inside otherwise we will not be able to achieve a closed form solution here right so w of the total aircraft now the new weight of the aircraft is now uh, w assuming the structure still remains same structural weight plus w underscore propulsion system weight because the propulsion system can deliver a variety of power is not it right it is it can it is not uh, considered only for single power so assuming this power requirement is still satisfied by this and the structural changes because of just increase in the battery weight is not much okay so and then what we have is the new battery weight that is bat here this is the new battery weight right so now actually w is getting updated with this new battery weight plus payload is already given so pay or payload was not considered here but it was given as an input so let's let's write w payload okay so w underscore pl let us say it's a payload weight which is equals to 1 kg right so W payload is so payload of EO slash IR sensor in kg. Okay, directly the payload was given. So PL is talks about payload. So what you're going to achieve is W is in kgs because everything else is in kgs here. Okay, so for calculating power, we need to convert that you know, weight. In k from kgs to newtons because we are expecting power in newtons the velocity is in meter per second and so we need to convert that again so for calculating power required we need to convert this weight to newtons instead of kgs because we are expecting power required in watts yeah. right okay so now we got the weight w now uh, what i want to do is so this w minus wi wi is the initial weight that i have considered so what i am trying to do is i am assigning this w w as w right of the otherwise you can say w f you can consider this as w f for this loop w f and then say w f w is the final weight that is estimated after this particular iteration each and every iteration which is equals to w here right that's the final weight now difference of this initial weight that i have considered and the final weight let us say if they are if it is very very less if it is 10 power minus 10 let us say so then this will this loop will break saying that whatever the battery weight that you have estimated for this particular endurance is already satisfied for that 4 kg right otherwise this will keep iterating no? 
this is one converging uh, convergence approach that we have used. So, so this will end this first while loop, right? And now, since the weight is increased, the structure weight as well as propulsion weight need to be upgraded. Earlier, the structural weight and propulsion weight, since the battery weight is increased, the total weight also increased. So, but this, but these two at line 22 and 23, the structural weight and propulsion weight we considered is from the weight of the baseline UAV, not the current upgraded UAV, right? So, once this iteration completes, then we'll try to upgrade this, and then also again repeat the same procedure. To find, to find out what is the total increase or the change in the weight of the battery thereby finding out the overall weight of the UAV. So, now again let us say this has to be for the same L by D right. So, what I will do is I will just copy paste these things here again same including the entire you can either make it as a function that, that will make more sense, but just want to copy paste this again. So, the second iteration here is the structural weight is now the same structural weight ratio, we still have the same structural weight ratio, but the new w. So, the new w is this one after this initial iterations. So, initially in this particular loop what we have upgraded is just the battery weight, right. So, that means the total weight of the aircraft is upgraded from in terms of battery. Now, what we are doing is with that battery weight we are upgrading structural weight and propulsion weight system. So, that the, these are the two weights that we are upgrading for the new UAV for the new mission requirements. Right? And once we are once we complete this task, then again the, when there is an increase in structural weight and propulsion weight, there should be an increase in the power requirement to perform that. That means again the battery weight has to be changed. So, that means again in the second iteration, so this battery weight will be changed. So, while considering this upgradation, you can take a factor of safety so that this particular battery weight no, will be satisfied within that limit. No, the increase in the weight will not affect the propulsion weight in increment as well as structural weight increment. So, we will end this after two iterations here. Okay. In general, what I observed is like after these two iterations, the weights are more or less within the estimates, no, limits of the estimates. So, I will end this program. Finally, the weight that I am going to get here is otherwise is the end of this particular. So, for, for e each loop, each for loop for each L by D it ends after these two while loops right. So, that means the final weight of the battery or the final weight of the UAV W of otherwise what should say um, V underscore final for that particular L by D that means I which is K comma 1 right. So, which is K comma 1 here is equals to W that I am going to get here or WF whatever it is that is stored and then weight of the battery is also stored weight of the BAT battery after this two while loops is K comma 1 is also stored for each and every L by D this keeps varying right. So, this weight of the battery is here W underscore BAT that you are going to get here. And then weight of the battery propulsion system. What will be the uh, weight of the propulsion system? So, once you know the power requirement uh, for each and every flight envelope, you can select a power plant and you can get the precise power requirement weight. So, this is an initial estimate to start the design process. So, once you have precise weights, once you select the power plant based upon the power requirement, you will get to know you can again come back to this loop and then iterate this and finalize the battery because in that case more or less you you have another fixed variable here isn't it so so the same motor which can deliver 23k k say jet engine or a small brushless motor which can generate 10 kg of thrust can also generate 5 kg of thrust right the same motor so yeah with that understanding we are now we are not upgrading these structural weight propulsion weight inside the loop itself. So, this is the battery weight that we are storing and then the propulsion weight is what the value pro ok. So, propulsion weight battery weight and then payload is given. So, the total weight is also given so, apart from this what do we require yeah we do not require anything. So, with L by D how this proper W 
uh, final is changing as well as battery is changing propulsion. So, if you want to plot, you can plot a figure. So, figure 1, I can have subplot. plot this plot l by d l underscore d right where is that l underscore d so each and every time let us say this is w b is the baseline w underscore d so so this will become w underscore b otherwise it will be an issue so from here once you get w so that will automatically be changed here right so let us assume for the initial iteration it will be it will be always for different l by d you have to start with the same baseline aircraft right so let it be w underscore b otherwise it will be upgraded no with the new weight every time l by d and where is this L by D here? It is a column vector L by D, yeah. With uh, how with L by D, how this W underscore uh, final weight is changing. Y label syntax. Okay. So, it is w right let me just put w underscore total weight right so maybe it's worth mentioning kg okay total weight in kg tot total weight in kg L by D varying with W, how the battery weight is varying, B A, let me just copy this. B A T, battery weight, T O T, total, let us let's not write the entire thing, total. So, we are also plotting the propulsion weight variation with battery weight. Okay, so, x, x level is L upon D. So, let us see if this works. So, we have not saved this yet. So, weight estimation. So, we are estimating the weight of the UAV only for say that particular mission, you know, only for that cruise. We are not uh, estimating for say if there is any extra or with a factor of safety as well as we are not considering the takeoff and climbing flight as well as landing flight. Right? Yeah, so here in the first while loop. So, since we have updated this as W base base weight W underscore B instead of W, if there is no for loop then it will not be an issue, but since we are uh, iterating for L by D here, so for different L by D how this uh, weight of the aircraft is changing. Uh, so, what I did is I used a if loop here. So, if uh, I is equals to is equals uh, if I is 1 like uh, this uh, uh, variable of this uh, loop is uh, 1 then that is at uh, the initial iteration. So, this w i is nothing but w b right. So, else if for any other thing, so this w i will take w weight of the, the the new weight that we have estimated right. So, and then it will find out what is the error between them and if the if, if the error is less than that, it will break and it will continue with the next iteration, next for loop, next while loop here with the upgraded structural weight and propulsion weight right. 
So, here it will not be a problem because what we want is the new estimated weight should be the input to this particular while loop which is happening here. So, the only uh, difference that makes is this if loop that that too because we have a for loop here right we are iterating it for L by D. So, another upgrade uh, is that I, I would also like to plot this structural weight how it is varying with L by D right and then uh, I have made it as a subplot of 4 by uh, 1 right. So, so, there are 4 rows which talks about this 4 subplots with final weight, battery weight, propulsion weight and structure weight varying with L by D here. So, let us figure out. So, the flight velocity is 30 meters per second and then duration of flight is 2 hours from the data and the structural SED is a specific energy density of the battery or energy density of the battery. Achha, it should be specific energy density. Okay, I missed it. Please, uh, I'll I'll make a correction. Right. So, if this is a case, so we have a plot here. So, see the structural weight in kg is uh, so it has to be 13 when L by D is 11, and then it it can be as low as 2. Point, no, 2.3 when you have L by D of 16 here. So, yeah, see the propulsion weight ratio is almost close to 8.5, 850 grams. No? You have so with that propulsion and the battery weight is close to say 3.2 kg when you have L by D 16, right? For the same flight conditions, when L by D is varying, overall weight turns out to be 7.3 kg, right? So when it is when the L by D is say 11. See the structure weight increases to 3.5 kg and then the propulsion weight you need to you will be carrying is about 1.3 kg. So, with the battery weight and is as high as 10 kg you know you need to carry close to uh, carry a battery which weighs about 10 kg here just to perform that mission and then the overall take uh, total weight of the aircraft turns out to be about 16 kg here. So, so see uh, this this helps us to uh, like uh, helps us to uh, understand the significance of L by D in the flight performance, right. So, as the performance increases with the L by D, you require less battery weight, less structural weight and uh, overall weight will also turn out to be comparatively less here, right. So, this is uh, just an, uh, an attempt to start, start with the weight estimation. You can say preliminary weight estimation that you can uh, start with this code and then once you have the detailed weights, you can further uh, complicate this algorithm. If you, I, I wish you should extend this program for even takeoff and based upon the mission requirement, whether it is a hand launch UAV or say it has a typical takeoff and landing uh, capability. So, then uh, based upon that, you need to and then the climb, right. So, what is the climb that you are expecting? What is the altitude of cruise? So, based upon those parameters, I wish you should. Uh, upgrade this code to estimate the overall weight of the battery as well as the UAV depending upon a baseline aircraft. So, this baseline aircraft we do not have much time to discuss. So, uh, that that is from the historical database I leave it to you to figure out to study at least study various textbooks and figure out what are the baseline like uh, how do how do we extract this historical database from those uh, yeah uh, from the from the previous UAVs right ok. So, in the next pro, uh, next lecture, we will talk about uh, wing sizing based upon this weight estimation and the L by D that we have considered, what should be various combinations of like say or what should be the wing pa platform geometries as well as the cross sectional profile geometries okay, or say parameters. Okay, then see you. Thank you.